Module 10. The Negotiation Environment. Negotiation Mismatch. A negotiation mismatch can occur when the parties involved significantly differ in power, knowledge, or resources, creating challenges in reaching an acceptable agreement. However, several ways exist to respond to a negotiation mismatch and increase the chances of reaching a successful outcome. First, it is vital to understand the other party's perspective and concerns. By actively listening and acknowledging their point of view, negotiators can build rapport and establish a foundation for a more collaborative negotiation process. Second, negotiators can use creative problem-solving techniques to identify potential solutions that meet the needs and interests of both parties. This may involve exploring alternative options or expanding the pie to benefit both parties. Third, negotiators can focus on building trust and establishing a positive relationship with the other party. This can involve demonstrating a willingness to compromise, being transparent about one's interests and constraints, and following through on commitments made during the negotiation process. Finally, walking away from the negotiation may be necessary if an agreement cannot be reached. While this can be difficult, it is essential to recognize when a negotiation is unlikely to be successful and to avoid wasting time and resources on a fruitless endeavor. Responding to a negotiation mismatch requires skills and strategies, including active listening, creative problem-solving, building trust, and knowing when to walk away. By using these techniques, negotiators can increase the chances of reaching a successful outcome that meets the needs and interests of both parties. Environmental Context in Negotiations The environmental context of negotiation refers to the external factors that can influence the negotiation process and outcome. Several factors can impact negotiations in the environmental context, including the legal and regulatory framework, economic conditions, social and cultural norms, and political climate. The legal and regulatory framework can set the rules and boundaries for negotiations, such as requirements for disclosure or limitations on certain types of agreements. Economic conditions, such as market fluctuations or interest rates, can also impact negotiations by affecting the perceived value of the goods or services being negotiated. Social and cultural norms can influence negotiations by shaping attitudes toward fairness and trust, while the political climate can create instability or uncertainty. Understanding and navigating the environmental context of negotiation is vital for achieving successful outcomes. Negotiators must be aware of the legal and regulatory framework, economic conditions, social and cultural norms, and political climate relevant to the negotiation. They must also be able to adapt to changing circumstances and use effective strategies in the specific context of the negotiation. By considering the environmental context of negotiation, Negotiators can increase the likelihood of reaching a mutually beneficial agreement that meets the needs and interests of all parties involved. Imaging process. The imaging process during negotiations refers to creating mental representations of the negotiation situation and the parties involved. The steps in the imaging process during negotiations typically involve the following. Preparation. This step involves gathering information about the negotiation situation, such as the parties involved, the issues at stake, and the potential outcomes. Perception This step involves perceiving the negotiation situation and the parties involved, including their interests, goals, and priorities. Interpretation This step involves interpreting the information gathered during the preparation and perception stages and making sense of the negotiation situation. Analysis. This step involves analyzing the negotiation situation and identifying potential solutions or strategies that may be effective in achieving a successful outcome. Decision making. This final step involves making decisions about the negotiation strategy and tactics and implementing them during the negotiation process. The imaging process during negotiations plays a crucial role in preparing negotiators for the negotiation process and helping them to develop effective negotiation strategies. By understanding the negotiation situation and the parties involved, negotiators can increase their chances of reaching a successful outcome that meets the needs and interests of all parties involved. Third-party intervention 
Third-party intervention refers to the involvement of a neutral third party in a negotiation or conflict resolution process. There are several benefits of third-party intervention, including facilitation of communication. Third-party intervention can facilitate communication between the parties involved in the negotiation, helping to clarify misunderstandings and reduce hostility, providing a fresh perspective. A neutral third party can provide a fresh perspective on the situation and offer creative solutions that the parties may not have considered. Managing emotions. A third party can help to manage the emotions of the parties involved, helping to keep the negotiation process productive and focused. Maintaining impartiality. A neutral third party can ensure that the negotiation process remains impartial and fair, helping to build trust and confidence. Maintaining confidentiality. A third party can maintain confidentiality and ensure that sensitive information is not shared without consent, helping to build trust and encourage open communication. Remember the intangibles. In negotiations, it is essential to remember the intangibles, the non-tangible factors that can impact the negotiation outcome. These intangibles include personal relationships, emotions, values, and cultural differences. These intangibles are necessary to avoid misunderstandings, mistrust, and, ultimately, a breakdown in negotiations. Therefore, negotiators should pay attention to these intangibles and try understanding the other party's perspective, values, and cultural background. By doing so, negotiators can build trust, establish rapport, and create a positive negotiation environment, ultimately increasing their chances of reaching a successful outcome. Cross-cultural negotiations. The value of international currencies can significantly impact cross-cultural negotiation decisions. Fluctuations in currency exchange rates can influence the perceived value of offers and negotiated agreements. For example, suppose a negotiation involves a transaction in which one party is based in a country with a stronger currency. In that case, they may have more bargaining power due to the perceived higher value of their currency. Additionally, fluctuations in currency exchange rates can also affect the cost of goods and services, which can further impact negotiation outcomes. Negotiators should know these currency-related factors and adapt their strategies to achieve successful cross-cultural negotiations.